Welcome back everybody for the final part of this three-part video series. We're going to look at problem C, where we're going to find the Galois group of Q adjoined root 5 and root 11 over Q. So we've already established that a basis, a Q basis, for Q adjoined the square root of 5 and square root of 11 is given by 1 root 5 root 11 and root 55 which is again actually just root 5 root 11 and so that means if we want to define an automorphism we only have to define it on a basis we already know that one is going to be fixed and since automorphisms are going to be multiplicative once you define what it does to root 5 and root 11 that's going to tell you what it does to root 5 times root 11 so, in fact, all we need to decide is if I have some sigma, which is a Galois automorphism of root 5 and root 11, uh, let's see, over Q, we just need to know what does it do to root 5 and what does it do to root 11. And using the exact same argument that we used when looking at Q adjoined root 7, we see that Q, uh, that sigma, rather, applied to root 5 is going to be plus or minus root 5, and sigma applied to root 11 will be plus or minus root 11. And so in total, there's going to be four different combinations. So, of course, there's the identity, and that's the one where root 5 and root 11 are both sent to the, themselves. Yeah. We have one which I'll just call tau plus minus. That's going to send root 5 to root 5 and root 11 to negative root 11. Then we'll have one I'll call tau minus plus. That'll send root 5 to negative root 5 and root 11 to negative, or rather to positive root 11. And then finally, we have a tau minus minus that will send root 5 to negative root 5 and root 11 to negative root 11. So you have a group now, a Gawa group. which, of course, you have to verify that all four of these are automorphisms. Of course, the identity, we know for sure that's going to be, but using the exact same arguments that we used before, uh, we see the other three are going to be automorphisms. So we get a Gawada group that is going to have four elements in it. The identity, tau plus minus, of course, we could have called the identity tau plus plus, uh, tau minus plus, and tau minus minus. And this is a special type of group called a Klein 4 group. It's a very nice. It's not a cyclic group. It actually has the property that all of its elements, when you square them, are the identity element. And from a picture point of view, uh, let me just give a name here, G for the entire Galois group. So this group has three subgroups of order 2. The cyclic group generated by tau plus minus, the cyclic group generated by tau minus plus, the cyclic group generated by tau minus minus, and of course they all contain the 